Hello, I'm Scott with Shalom Photography. And one of the most common questions I get asked is what is the Doughboy and what is the Chrome Dome? Because I used it, I used it quite a bit. So before the Colt 45 came out, I was using these because it was the only, only reasonable Bowen modifier out there before the Colt 45. This here is the Doughboy. This one is painted tan. Sorry about the echo. This one here is a chrome dome. This one is standard. These are normally what you find in a big box store, like the old Toys R Us, or if you go into Costco, these are like hanging from the ceiling, or if you go into like some grocery stores, you'll see these hanging from the ceiling. And what they do is they take a 500 watt bulb and change it into the intensity into a thousand watt bulb. Now, again, I used these a lot back in the day and they're huge. They're 18 inches. The thing about the difference between these and the Colt 45 is the subject has to be back just a little bit further than if I were using these. And they don't have to be back that much further. It's just a little bit further with the Colt 45. And again, I'm trying to save as much power as possible when I'm out on location, because again, I'm using battery power and I want as much um, battery life that I can keep. So therefore I got these reflectors and I got the first one, the Doughboy, and I painted it tanned to make it match with the desert. And again, it doesn't make a difference what the color of the outside is painted. It's just that's the reason why this one is tan. So it blended in with the desert a lot more. Again, they're nice big 18 inch reflectors. But again, they're also nice big and bulky. And again, that's the reason why the Colt 45 is a lot easier to carry on location than these. And again, if you don't know what the Colt 45 is, it's, it's a a uh, high output reflector just like these produced by Cheetah Stan. Now there's many out there that look alike and um, have the same measurements, but I've tested a few of them and not all of them are created equal. Again, I'm not gonna get into that, but again, the, some of them had higher output and some of them had then and some had less output, even though they looked exactly the same, even though, but they didn't perform the same. Um, again, if you're looking to build your own, which it's gonna cost you a, a lot more than if you would buy the Colt 45, because the reflector alone is, you can find them used maybe on eBay or Craigslist or whatever, and you can get them for maybe 45 to 50 bucks. But the standard retail price for one is $120. So then you have to cut the top off and then you have to mount your insert ring, therefore costing you even more money. So it's up to you on what you wanna do. And that's the reason why the Colt 45 was released and why I use the Colt 45 a lot. I use the high output reflectors just because I want to save as much power as I can. Again, when you see in any of behind my scenes or whatever, you might see one of these. And the reason why this is out is because I'm determining how much distance I need to be from my subject. And if the distance is, um, has to be, um, too far to be where I need to be, then I have to go with this over the Colt 45 because again, there's not much difference in distance between the light and the subject. Um, but this is about saving me two more feet in than if I would have had if I was using the Colt 45. Hopefully that's making sense. But again, that is one of the most common questions I get asked. What is the Doughboy and what is the Chrome Dome? And they are factory reflectors that are used in the ceilings to light a big giant warehouse or big giant building. And again, 
using thousand watt bulbs is a lot takes a lot more energy than if you're using a 500 watt bulb and then in increasing the output um, intensity to a thousand watt by using one of these reflectors again my name is Scott with Sean's Photography and this is the 18 inch reflectors that I use out on location called the Chrome Dome and the Doughboy and thank you for watching